It's interesting. I've been treating athletes for 40 plus years of my career as a sports medicine physician. And we've actually been using platelet rich plasma for healing of injuries from ligament strains to cartilage damage, tennis elbow, if you will, plantar fasciitis, things for, for 20 years. I've been doing PRP for over 20 years. Unfortunately, it's still quote considered experimental, which makes no sense. We've been doing it a long time. Athletes were certainly interested in healing and, and speedy recovery time so they can get back to play and participation as fast as possible and really understand the benefits of using your own healing growth factors versus you know, a cortisone shot and cortisone is very anti-inflammatory. It works well to decrease inflammation, but the problem is if we use it repeatedly, it creates more problems. It really can sustain damage to the cartilage and structures and a joint, you know, if it's a one and done kind of thing for tennis elbow or plantar fasciitis, then there's not really a lot of harm in it. But most are interested in, hey, what can we use? What can we do to avoid surgery, get me better, faster? And, you know, when someone's informed that we can use the growth factors from their own blood, it's almost always a pretty easy decision. You're like, yeah, why wouldn't we do that? And it's not cost prohibitive. It's reasonably priced. And it's something that, that works quite well and that we use in many different injury applications from speeding up healing acute injuries to chronic wear and tear, chronic pain, whether it's in a joint or a ligament. And so it's pretty exciting technology. Well, the advantage over traditional rehab, which always still has an important place in injury management and recovery, you know, range of motion, strengthening, those are principles we never skip. You know, things as simple as cryotherapy or ice, and now it's becoming in bulk to do cold plunge, et cetera, which just really helps the body overall to reduce chronic inflammation. And so when we can take your own healing factors early on in an injury, put them along the insertion of a ligament, let's say in a joint that's been strained or small micro tears in the cartilage, then it just accelerates healing, allows you to do the therapy that's necessary and recover faster. Everyday people absolutely can benefit from the same techniques, you know, from acute sports medicine principles that we use for everyone. You know, you're a secretary at work and you have forearm issues from keyboarding, you know, gamers, right? That's something we never used to say. Kids with synovitis in their thumb, fingers, forearms from, you know, being uh, immersed in gaming, you know, for more than they may need to be. But there's just a number of indications. And anytime, you know, the average person can employ a technique to remain productive at work, not miss work, not be sitting around icing, wearing a brace, doing things and being miserable. You know, this is a way to improve, you know, our quality of life, our work experience, our productivity. You know, after a hard day working, if you've been in pain all day, do you really want to spend time with your kids when you get home? No, your fuse is about as short as it gets. So yes, anytime we can speed up the healing process using these techniques, it just, it benefits everyone. Well, the next steps, if, if you are suffering from one of the conditions or issues that we discussed and think platelet rich plasma PRP, you know, may be for you is to click on the link below and we'll set up a telemedicine exam or an exam in person at in Aspen or Denver locations to look and see, okay, what's going on? Do I need to get any radiographic studies? Do we need an extra here and an MRI? Or is this pretty simple and it's just an inflamed ligament and tendon? I'm not concerned about tearing and abnormal joint function. Then we can do a PRP injection on the spot. It takes about 15 minutes in the office 
to draw the blood, spin it, prepare it, isolate the growth factors, what we call the buffy coat, the layer between the red cells and the serum where all those growth factors like to hang out where we can centrifuge the blood and, and obtain them easily, then the injection is done in a matter of minutes.